Hi, Hi Rod, Matty here, uh, and I thought today we'd have a quick look at the uh, the Charger build, VH Charger build. Uh, kind of looking like a bit of a Mad Max uh, Charger at the moment, but um, got some progress done, um, and I think we've got a plan together, so, so let's take a look. So at the moment, this is how the VH Charger is looking. Um, I picked this up maybe about two years ago. Um, picked up two VH Chargers together. Um, this is the better of the two, if you can imagine. So there is some rust to cut out, um, but knowing that we were gonna do a fair bit of cutting and uh, modifications, we didn't go with a um, uh, something with a decent body. We thought we'd start with something that was a bit more affordable and that way we've got some money to spend on, on some of the other parts. Um, we were thinking about going a full rear end and tubbing it. Um, but instead we're, we're gonna go small tire and I'll give you a look of how that small tire setup is starting to come together. Um, she's sitting quite high at the moment. Um, we've got to sort out the uh, rear leaf springs, um, but it should come down a little bit lower once we, uh, we make some changes. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we had the option of going for the world's fastest VH charger with a uh, moonroof. Um, but no, we'll, we'll fill that in. And the story is when, when we bought it, it had, a, uh, it had an ax through the top of it, um, which was pretty cool, uh, but there was a bit of um, other damage and rust to the, to the roof as well. So, so we'll cut that out and we'll put another piece in there. Um, that will come. So as far as rust repair is concerned, um, obviously there's plenty of patina on the, on the um, on the bodywork already, but as far as deep problematic rust, surprisingly, it's not as bad. Um, so we have had to cut the sections of the uh, inner fenders out. We we're probably going to do that anyway, knowing what motor we're going to run now. Um, and then you can see the uh, cross members in, steering racks in, um, coilovers are in. Um, so Viking coilovers and then the wheel wood brake kits in as well. Um, and so that's all sitting behind a set of world wheels. Um, so front end is at least coming together. There's, you know, it's rolling. It'll, it'll be able to stop, etc. We probably won't go boosted. We'll probably just put a wheel wood master cylinder in it. Um, cause we want to use as much of the engine bay as possible. Um, and I'll talk about the engine bay in a minute. Um, so you can see a few areas where there is a fair bit of rust. Um, all of the patch panels have been purchased, so they're sitting on the shelves. Um, and so it's really just about working through those. These bottoms of the back quarters seem to be problematic on every charger. And, and by the way, this is the first charger that I've owned. So um, a little bit of discovery. Um, so, so working a few things out, but when you jump onto the forums, you do hear sort of the same um, issues. That's how the rear beaver panel is looking at the moment. It's a little bit of a sorry state in this corner. So the plan is probably gonna be to pick this quarter off and just get it back into shape. There is a dent that, um, here we're trying to pop this off, see if I can get the lighting or at least the angle so you can see there's pretty solid dent that runs diagonal there. Um, and so I did try to bang it out from the inside, but these VH charger quarters are actually pretty thick, thicker than a Falcon hardtop. Um, is uh, is what I've been told. So we'll unpick it, started um, getting rid of the lead work already, um, work it out, put the patch panels on and, and away we go. Floor's all been cut out, unpicked all of that out. Uh, patch panels are there. Under the dash will be mostly empty. Um, we'll put a factory dash in, um, but run a Haltech so uh, we'll have a screen in there as well. Um, but the great part about having the roof opened up now 
is as we do the floor work, we'll start to build the cage. And as we build that cage, we'll, uh, we'll weld it in from the top and we'll be able to get something that's pretty tight to the lines of the charger. So, I don't know, let's call it a silver lining, yeah? Um, rear area, pretty ordinary. Um, again, the patch panels are there waiting. So it's just time and effort to, to get that sorted. Now, rear wheel setup, rear tire setup looks pretty cool. Yeah, so we've got some, we've got some ET streets. And I forget how, uh, how wide these are, uh, the rims at least. Um, 255, 60, 15 is what we're running. And so those will dip down a little bit further. And if we go under the car, you can see the, uh, the nine inches in, um, the wheel woods are on, the cow tracks, cow tracks are connected up. Obviously the, uh, the, the bead locks on the inside will get that sorted out. Um, but then the mono leaves, long story with the mono leaves, but to make it short, these need to be shorter. So we'll do a little bit of work to, to tighten or to, to cut the ends and fold them um, or pass them through each other and shorten the length a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't change the uh, stiffness of them too much, but uh, that will be the step. So there you go. Very nice. Frame roll connectors are on. That's one, that's the other. So that's more or less connecting the, the front half to the back half uh, uh, as long as, uh, as well as the seals for the moment. So that's the charger. Still a fair bit of work to go. I'll talk about the plan for the motor now and I think it really comes down to the plan for the car. Um, this is a car I'd like to take to Dradwick um, in the US. Um, it's an Aussie body car. Obviously, Mr. Ferone from Perth is doing a great job representing the Aussie Chargers uh, over there. Um, so it's really about, you know, coming together and um, having a second charger over there. Um, but we'll go with the, the stock rear end um, so that keeps us in, I think, Super Street. And if we go small block power adder, we can go up to a 430 cube um, small block. Now there's a couple of options here. Um, there's obviously a, uh, a four. So we've got the 454 LSX. We could take some stroke out of that um, and fit in the class and put some turbos on them. Uh, but really, I think with this one, I probably want to go with a Mopar small block, um, which is not the easiest way to do things, but I think it's a bit more truer to the um, uh, the car. Uh, so that will need a little bit of research and investigation to see how best to do it. Um, obviously, the guys at NRE do a beautiful combo, um, but it's also a beautiful price. Um, so we'll see if we can do something um, similar. But that's where we are with the charger at the moment. So fingers crossed we, uh, we get this thing um, moving right along.